Hello, in this section we're going to use the calculator's graphing functions to be able to calculate the slope of a tangent line to a graph at a given point. Now those of you uh, taking calculus, you already know that this is called a derivative uh, of a function. If you're not taking calculus, it's still a useful thing to know to be able to understand how your, how your functions are being plotted and, and really what they are. And if you're in calculus, you can use it to really check your work on derivatives as well. So what you do here first is you have to go plot a function. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, right now we'll just go ahead and leave the top function there. Let's clear this one and let's clear this one. And let's go back to zoom and let's go to Z standard. So it'll plot the function in the standard layout and we'll see a function that looks something like this. So this is our X squared minus four. It's a parabola shifted down. Now, if you want to calculate, uh, first of all, let me talk a little bit about slope of a tangent line. What, what we're saying here is for every function that you draw, at any point on the function, let's say right here, right here near the bottom, I can draw a line tangent to that point, which means there's a line that just barely touches this curve at exactly one point. If I were looking at the bottom, the tangent line would come in horizontally and just touch this graph at, graph at one point before going on. If I were looking over here, then the tangent line would be coming in from the top and it would just barely touch this graph at one point and go down like this. So the tangent line is the line that just skirts the surface and just touches the graph at exactly one point. So here the tangent line would look something like that. So this function in the calculate menu right here, down here that says dy uh, divided by dx, this is basically telling you that you're going to to be able to calculate the slope of that tangent line. The dy dx is, is calculus notation uh, and it means derivative. So the change in y with respect to x. So we, we hit six here and it's a very easy process to do. I mean, all you do now, you're, you're tracing the graph. And so wherever you would like uh, to see this guy, let's say we wanna calculate the slope here uh, of the tangent line of this curve. So we hit enter and it says dy dx at this point is equal to 4.681. That's right here. So this means that if I were to get graph paper and a ruler out and construct a tangent line that just came in and touched this graph and went down lat like this, then the slope of this line, literally the slope of this line that I'm drawing with my mouse here, is equal to 4.681. And it's positive here because the graph is sloped in this direction over here on this side. Now if I go to the calculate menu, and go back to number six, and then go back to, to someplace on the other side. Let's pick something like uh, here, right, like this. And we go ahead and hit enter. Then here, the, the slope dy dx is negative because the line tangent to this curve here is sloping the other direction. It's sloping this way. And lines that are sloped in this direction are always negative. Lines that are sloped in this direction are always positive. So here you can see it's calculating the uh, slope of this tangent line, which would look something like this exactly correctly. Now you can also use this. Let me go in here to number six. Just kind of see what's happening here. Near the bottom, very near the bottom, the slope of the tangent line would look something like this. So the slope is 0 0.851. Now if I go back in here and go to the right a little bit and do it again, so it's gonna go from 0 0.851 to 2.9. So the slope gets steeper. And if I go over here to the calculate menu again and go to hit number six, and if I go to the right still, then it's going to go all the way up to 4.681. So the, the slope of this tangent line here is even, is even bigger. And if I go over here and hit number six and go all the way to the edge of this graph, all the way to the top, and do it again, it's gonna go from four point whatever it was to six point something. And this is because for this parabola here, it's as it goes, it's getting steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper. So the slope of the line tangent is going to be steeper and steeper and steeper. So you can really use this to really understand what your graph is doing. And if you're learning about derivatives, it, it's a really great way to visually learn about what derivatives are doing either. Uh, as well, I mean. So let me go and show you one more thing. The, the, the only limitation to what I've shown you so far is that whenever you go uh, here to dy dx like this, I'm telling you to use the trace functionality to find your value, but to, to define the point that you want your derivative. But what if you don't want to know where the derivative is here at, at this point? What if you don't really want to know at this point? What if you want to calculate it at x is equal to some other value that I'm not tracing to? Well, you just go to the calculate menu hit number six, 
and then you just type in the number. So let's say you pick number four. So you hit four and it snaps and tells you x is equal to four and then you hit enter and then it's going to calculate the derivative or the slope of the tangent line exactly at that point is equal to eight. Uh, so again, if you wanted to find another guy, let's say uh, number six for slope, let's say we wanted to calculate the slope when x is equal to negative 3.5. So at x is equal to negative 3.5, which is somewhere over here on the graphs, so negative 3.5 is over here somewhere, and we're up here, exactly at that point, then the slope is negative 7. Well, actually, it's way over here. The slope is negative 7 because it's way up there like that. So you can either get a good feel for playing around with it by doing the trace functionality and then selecting your values, or you can just type your values in. So this is a great way to evaluate the derivative of a function. Uh, but keep in mind that the numbers that you type in here, they have to be represented on the screen that you've graphed. If you come in here and hit number six, uh, and then try to put a number of negative 50 in here, which is way off the graph, then it's going to give you an error. And the reason is because the calculator is basically doing this, this function, this, this slope function for whatever is represented on the screen. So if you really want to go off screen and do it, you'll have to zoom out or pan over there like that change your change your window values to something that that would work and then it would work for you so that's a great way to take simple uh, derivatives obviously the calculator can't do you know derivatives in terms of X for you but it can calculate the slope of the tangent line at various points which is a great way to check your work in a good number of cases